imagine making motion graphics for your faceless YouTube videos from a picture you generated with AI in just a few seconds. I know it sounds insane, but today I will show you exactly how you can do it too, and why Nano Banana finally cracked the code for creators. So, it all started when I was just scrolling through YouTube like usual, checking out what new formats are trending, and I noticed that many channels use motion graphics, and that immediately grabbed my attention. I realized that a lot of the creators who use motion graphics get tons of views on their videos, and viewers stay longer watching them. So, I saw a huge opportunity right there. But the thing is, I'm not an animator. I don't know how to design slick motion graphics or animate anything myself. And that's when things got interesting because around the same time, Nano Banana, the new image generation model dropped, and people were going absolutely crazy online with all these insane Nano Banana images. That's when it clicked for me. You can take any Nano Banana image and transform it into motion graphics or any style you want in just a few clicks. If this new creator and hundreds of others can do it manually, why can't we automate and scale it even faster with Nano Banana and a few AI tools? So today we are going to do that together, step by step. All right, so this design right here was created with Nano Banana. So basically people upload their rough amateur looking designs and Nano Banana transforms them into super beautiful professional graphics. And with Kling AI or Heiluo AI, you can bring those graphics to life with motion. And people love this kind of motion graphics. And you can also see from the number of comments that people really love this stuff. Now, usually if you wanted to create something like this yourself, you'd have to hire a freelancer on Fiverr or Upwork and pay some money to get the motion graphics done. But now, let's say you want to turn this image into a hologram. First, we open Google Gemini, enable Nano Banana Image Mode, upload the image, and simply paste this prompt. Transform this exact photo of the object into a transparent holographic wireframe. Keep the same position and perspective as the original image. The object should be see-through, with glowing neon, cyan, and blue grid lines forming a clean 3D mesh. The background must stay visible through it, with faint scan lines and a soft projection glow and then I just hit enter and the AI works its magic. As you can see, in seconds we get a hologram of this image. Now that I have these two images, for animating between them, you need to use a platform that has the option for start and end frames. The two I tested most with this were Haluo AI and Kling AI. So drag the real image into the start frame, then also upload the hologram image into the end frame, then just type this prompt, Animate the object transforming from solid and realistic into a transparent holographic wireframe. Start with faint blue flickers across the surface, then glowing cyan grid lines scan over the object. The solid material fades until only the semi-transparent hologram remains. Add pulsing light rays, faint scan lines, and small floating particles to emphasize the projection effect. Keep the background visible through the hologram. Then just generate that, and here's the result. that was pretty easy, something that normally would take hours to produce. So, while other creators are manually editing this motion graphics, we can create the same or better results automatically in literally minutes. But this is not the only thing you can do because the possibilities are so freaking insane. Check this out. There's this other style which could work well in some sort of educational video. So let me show you how I created this video. I inserted this prompt that you will find in the Google Doc in the description. Here I created a spider and its leg is highlighted in red. Like for example, it has some injury or I want to present something related to the leg. Then I asked to remove the red from the leg so that I have a clean image of the spider. You are free to change the animal. It doesn't have to be a spider. Finally, I chose to change the angle of the image with a spider's red leg, and I got this new image. Then I took these two images, one for the start frame and one for the end frame, and I inserted this simple prompt. Dynamic zoom and rotate zooms into the spider leg, then the spider's leg begins to glow red for emphasis. I tested it in both Kling AI and Heiluo AI, and here are the results from both tools.
Now let's talk about the second approach a little bit when you want to create elements that you can use in your editing process, like this card, for example. So this is the prompt that I input into Nano Banana, and this is the result that I got. Now, if you want other variations of this card, just put this prompt. Can you only change the gaming text and icon representing it to a music text and a music icon? And these are the results that I got. If you want to change the color of the card, no problem. Just mention it in the prompt and you will have your card in a different color. Then I uploaded it to Canva, go to Edit, Magic Grab, click on the icon, and click Grab. In a few seconds, I had my icon separated from the background. Now, once I had the cards, I was able to head over to my editor studio, put these cards on the background, and position them properly. I just animated the position, I selected Smooth Animation, and this is the animation that I got at the end. Okay, now if you remember at the beginning of this video, I showed you this design. So what I did was create this horrible looking design in about 30 seconds in Canva. Then I told Nano Banana to take this simple design and transform it into a polished, high-end design that feels like it was created by a world-class professional. The focus was on adding depth, refinement, and a sleek modern aesthetic. And that's how I turned this simple, honestly rough-looking design into something that looks really impressive. But now let's make things harder and actually challenge the AI. I found an existing chart, opened Nano Banana, uploaded the image, and gave it this prompt. Turn this chart into a sleek, futuristic visualization. Use glowing neon bars in shades of cyan and magenta on a deep black background, and a few other details. And in just a matter of seconds, you're not going to believe what it created. We got this insane AI-generated futuristic chart. Then I needed to clean it up and remove all the bars and finally I came up with this image for the start frame and this one for the end frame. So all I had to do was drag in the start frame, upload the end frame, and type a quick prompt. Something like this, dynamic motion graphics animation where each bar extends from bottom to top sequentially with its text fading in at the end. Then I just generated it and this was the result. Now, a few months ago, if you wanted to create something like this, you had to spend real time and effort manually editing everything together just to get decent results. But right now, look at this. You simply take a photo, upload it into Gemini, select Nano Banana, and ask it to turn it into something professional. And with Kling AI or Halu AI in just a few seconds, boom, you get a crazy good result. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and see you in the next video.